Hi. In this video, I would like to show some images of resistors and also we will go through how to read the value of this resistance by looking at the color codes. There are four color bands on resistors which are normally made like cylinders and you will see two wires coming out of the resistor on each side. You can see those white uh, things coming out. So those white wires would be connected to a circuit board. Now looking at the four bands that are there on the resistor, each band and its position has an importance. So let's take a simple example of uh, all the four bands being of uh, red color. Just an example. So the first band red means two, the second band if it's red it means two again and if the third band is also red it's into 100. So it will be 2, 2 into 100 so that will become 2200 ohms. If the fourth band is also red then it means that the manufacturing process to churns out a tolerance of plus minus 2 percent on the value 2200. The tolerance value is uh, not usually mentioned in circuit diagrams so you can uh, probably uh, delete that for now but it's an information for the future. Let's take some practical examples. So here you have a resistor with a yellow, violet, red and a gold band. So yellow means 4, violet is 7, red means multiply by 100. So we get 4700 ohms. The last band is for tolerance only. So gold is plus minus 5%. So the manufacturing process churns out resistors within that band of 4700 plus minus 5% of 4700. Let's go through another example. Here you have a resistor. Uh, it doesn't matter what color it is. The bands are important. So you have red, red, brown and gold. So that makes it 2, 2, brown means multiply by 10. So 2200 ohms and the last band which is gold gives the manufacturing tolerance of plus minus 5% of 220 ohms. So I hope this gives you a comfort feeling of how to read the resistance values. Now coming to a circuit and how these are connected, uh, there is a separate video on series and parallel circuits but here I will give you a quick image. Uh, you can see a battery with a positive and negative terminal, take the positive wire, connect it to a metallic plate and then connect the resistors R1 and uh, another bridging and you have a resistance R2 and the wire comes back to the negative terminal of the battery. In a circuit diagram as in a textbook, uh, the resistances are shown in a jagged manner as you can see and the blue arrows show the direction of the current from the positive of the terminal uh, through the resistance back to the negative and there will be a voltage drop as the current goes through each resistance. So the job here is to find the equivalent resistance in every circuit. So you just add up R1 and R2 for a series circuit and you get 9400 ohms, plug in ohms law and uh, if the battery is 24 volts then 24 divided by 9400 ohms will give you 0 0.0025 amps. I hope this uh, video was useful to you. Thank you and have a great day.